A brain tumor is an abnormal growth of cells within the brain, which can be cancerous or non-cancerous. Brain tumors are categorized as either primary or secondary. Primary brain tumors originate in the brain and can be either benign or malignant. Secondary brain tumors, also known as metastatic tumors, are more common and are malignant tumors. Metastatic tumors spread to the brain from some other part of the body and mostly occur in patients who have cancer in the following areas, colon, breast, kidney, lung, skin, and various other places. There are over 100 types of brain tumors, but they can be broken down into two categories, benign and malignant. Benign tumors are not cancerous, but can cause severe pain, permanent brain damage, and possibly death. They grow very slowly and rarely spread to other parts of the brain or spinal cord. They can be completely removed without causing any permanent damage and are very unlikely to recur. Benign tumors are considered low-grade tumors. Malignant tumors are almost the exact opposite of benign tumors. They grow rapidly and can spread to other parts of the brain or spinal cord. Even if a malignant tumor is completely removed surgically, there is a high chance of it coming back. Malignant tumors are considered high-grade tumors. Glioma tumors are one of the more common tumors and can be classified as either benign or malignant. A glioma tumor grows from a glial cell, and there are many different types of gliomas, such as astrocytoma, oledodendroglioma, ependymomas, brainstem glioma, and mixed glioma. Astrocytoma tumors begin in astrocyte cells in the cerebrum and cerebellum. These cells form astroglia, which are star-shaped cells that surround neurons in the brain and spinal cord. They outnumber neurons by about 50 astrocytes to every one neuron. Their purpose is to maintain, support, and repair the nervous tissue and also to regulate synaptic transmission by creating and releasing glutamate. There are four grades of astrocytoma. Grade 1, a slow-growing benign tumor that rarely spreads and occurs mainly in children and teens. Grade 2, a low-grade, slow-growing tumor that often spreads into nearby tissue in adults between the ages of 20 and 40. Grade 3, a cancerous tumor that grows rapidly and spreads to nearby tissue mainly in adults between the ages of 30 and 50. And grade 4, an aggressive tumor that spreads and grows rapidly in adults between 50 and 80. Astrocytoma tumors account for 10.3% of all tumors. Oligodendroglioma tumors develop in oligodendrocyte cells. These tumors are commonly located in the frontal and temporal lobes, but they can be formed anywhere within the cerebral hemisphere. These tumors can either be low or high grade. Oligodendroglioma tumors located in the frontal lobe can cause mood and personality changes, and may also cause paralysis on one side of the body, called hemiparesis. Tumors located in the temporal lobe may cause problems with speech, memory, and coordination. Oligodendroglioma tumors account for 3.9% of all tumors. Ependymoma tumors develop from ependymal cells, which line the ventricles and form the central canal of the spinal cord. Sometimes ependymomas can spread from the brain to the spinal cord in the cerebrospinal fluid. There are only three grades of ependymomas. Symptoms of ependymomas include seizures and raised intracranial pressure. Ependymomas located in the frontal lobe and temporal lobe have similar effects of oligodendrogliomas. They can cause mood and personality changes and can cause paralysis on one side of the body in the frontal lobe and can cause coordination, speech, and memory problems if the temporal lobe is affected. Ependymomas in the cerebellum can cause coordination and balance problems, and tumors in the parietal lobe can cause writing difficulties and hemiparesis. Ependymoma tumors account for 3.3% of all tumors. Brainstem gliomas begin in the glial cells in the brainstem. They occur mainly in children between the ages of 3 and 10, but occasionally occur in adults. They can range from low to high grade, and symptoms include headaches, nausea, speech or balance problems, swallowing difficulties, weakness or numbness in the arms, legs, or face, and double vision. Mixed gliomas are made up of more than one type of glial cell tumor and are only present in about 1% of all primary brain tumors. Non-glioma tumors are tumors that are developed in cells in the brain that aren't glial cells. Types of non-glioma tumors include meningiomas, pituitary gland tumors, pineal region tumors, medulloblastoma, craniopharyngioma, and acoustic schwannoma. Meningioma tumors are the most common primary brain tumor and occur mostly in the middle-aged or elderly. Meningiomas is a tumor in the meninges and they are mainly slow-growing tumors. Meningiomas in the frontal lobe can cause mood and personality changes and hemiparesis. If the temporal lobe is affected, it can cause memory and coordination problems. If the parietal lobe is affected, writing will become difficult, and if the left side of the brain is affected, there may be speech problems, such as slurring words. Meningioma tumors account for 29.2% of all tumors. The pituitary gland produces hormones that regulate other glands in the body. Pituitary gland tumors are mostly benign tumors and don't spread to other regions. They are mainly found in young or middle-aged adults. 
Pituitary hormones are either secreting or non-secreting tumors. Secreting tumors release too much of the pituitary hormones. There are multiple different types of secreting tumors, such as prolactin secreting tumors, growth hormone secreting tumors, TSH secreting, and ACTH secreting tumors. Pituitary tumors account for 5.9% of all tumors. The pineal gland produces melatonin to control when we sleep and when we are awake. Pineal region tumors are more common in adults than children and more common in men than women. These tumors cause difficulty in simple tasks such as looking up or focusing on close objects. Pineal region tumors may spread to the pituitary gland and can cause delayed puberty in teenagers or other hormonal problems. There are a few types of pineal tumors such as astrocytomas, teratomas, meningiomas, pineocytomas, and pineoblastomas. Medulloblastoma tumors are formed from cells that developed poorly during the early stage of life. Medulloblastoma is found mainly in children and is more common in boys than girls. They are malignant tumors that develop in the cerebellum and spread to other regions of the brain. Symptoms of a medulloblastoma tumor include vomiting, headaches, vision problems, problems with walking and speech including slurred words, jerky eye movements, neck stiffness, and muscle weakness. Medulloblastoma tumors account for 1.8% of all tumors. Craniopharyngioma tumors are benign and occur near the pituitary gland. There are two types of craniopharyngioma tumors, adamantinomatous and papillary tumors. Adamantinomatous craniopharyngiomas occur in children and are less solid tumors than the papillary tumors. Papillary craniopharyngiomas occur in adults and are solid tumors. Symptoms of this tumor include obesity, delayed development, impaired vision, low blood pressure, depression, diabetes, fatigue, and a swollen optic nerve. Craniopharyngioma tumors account for 0.7% of all tumors. Acoustic schwannoma is a slow-growing tumor on the hearing nerve and is typically benign. This tumor is developed by an overproduction of Schwann cells that push on the hearing imbalance nerves in the inner ear. Acoustic schwannoma has multiple different names, such as acoustic neuroma, vestibular schwannoma, neurinoma, and neurilamoma. Symptoms of an acoustic schwannoma include hearing loss, dizziness, ringing in the ears, facial nerve paralysis, and problems in the brain. Symptoms of a brain tumor vary depending on where the tumor is located and what kind of tumor it is. In general, the most common symptom of a brain tumor is headaches, but other symptoms include seizures, balance, walking, and memory problems, numbness or weakness in certain body parts, speech, vision, or hearing changes, and inability to concentrate, and vomiting. Primary brain tumor causes are unknown, but researchers believe that brain tumors could be influenced by the following genetic cell mutations, viruses, injuries, chemicals, hormones, environmental factors, and exposure to radiation. There is a widespread belief that cell phones can cause brain tumors by radiating electromagnetic waves, which damages brain cells. However, there is an insufficient amount of evidence to support this belief. Most brain tumors are not diagnosed until after symptoms appear. After looking at the medical history of a patient and performing a physical examination, the doctor will continue with a neurological exam. This exam tests the alertness, muscle strength, coordination, reflexes, and responses to pain. Depending on these results, the doctor may order a brain scan for the patient. The scans that may be used include MRI, fMRI, CT, and PET scans. These scans are used to give detailed pictures of the brain and to determine the type of brain tumor. Angiograms, or MRAs, are also used to look for brain tumors by using dye and x-rays on the blood vessels to look for abnormal blood vessels or signs of a tumor. After the test results come back, if a patient has a tumor, the doctor will begin the staging process. The staging process includes explaining where the tumor is located, where it has spread, and if it has or is affecting other organs in the body. After the diagnosis of a brain tumor, more tests will be done to learn more about the tumor. Treatment of brain tumors includes surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Surgery is used to remove the tumor if possible, but when tumors cannot be surgically removed, chemotherapy and radiation therapy are used to kill or shrink the tumor. Sometimes chemotherapy and radiation therapy are used after surgery and can also be used together. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells by stopping the cell's ability to grow and divide. Radiation therapy uses high-energy x-rays to kill cancer cells. Radiation therapy is also used to slow down or stop the growth of the tumor. There are multiple different types of radiation therapy, including conventional radiation therapy, stereotactic radiosurgery, and three-dimensional conformal radiation therapy. Sometimes recovery from a brain tumor isn't possible, and when treatment fails, the disease may be called an advanced or terminal brain cancer. 
Brain tumors are the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in children under the age of 20. They are the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in males between the ages of 20 to 39, and they are the fifth leading cause of cancer-related deaths in females between the ages of 20 to 39. In 2013, there will be an estimated number of 69,720 new primary brain tumor diagnoses and an estimated number of 14,080 deaths due to brain tumors in the United States. About 43% of brain tumors occur in men and 57% occur in women. Around 7% of all brain tumors occur in kids aged 19 years old and younger. More than half of these children are younger than 15. There are some ways in which you can prevent the development of brain tumors or cancer in general, such as avoiding exposure to certain environmental agents, eating a healthy diet, visiting your doctor regularly, and limiting your consumption of alcohol and cigarettes.